wonderful? Praise God. What a blessing to just enjoy all of this God-given talent this afternoon. And what an amazing array and collection of talent we have here in this church, this little church, Edgewood Assembly of God. What a blessing to just enjoy just so much of what God has blessed us with here. And you know something, what, what really spoke to my heart this afternoon was just how that the songs were selected. You could tell that the songs were selected by the musicians, the, the singers, according to what you know God is speaking into their life through that song. And I know that songs are, are just such a blessing to our lives and they reflect many times the goodness of God and what God is bringing us through, what God is taking us through and, and just how God is meeting needs in our life that only God could meet. And uh, just, just wonderful to just feel and, and sense and hear the passion uh, in each of the voices this afternoon. Praise God. What a, what a blessing. Man, don't you enjoy those young people? Isn't that great? Give, give them an extra hand. Amen. Mary, we've got an orchestra coming up here. Amen. We're working on a stringed orchestra here. Man, that would just be great to have those young people playing those strings and viola and violin on the platform. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And uh, man, all kinds of just hidden talent that didn't even realize we had here today. And just what a blessing. And I just know the Lord is so pleased when people use the talent that He gives and they give back to Him and they share it for His honor and for His glory and all the messages of the songs today were so wonderful. Praise God. I tell you, just to see all the different personalities and the way God uses them. Man, I tell you, how Noah's got that showman thing down, doesn't he? I'm telling you, man, that was, I'm lo I was loving that bowing. Did you see that? Man, well, he's, uh, he's headlining in Vegas next week. Just thought I'd let you know that. He's gonna be at the MGM Grand and Limited engagement, though, so make sure you get your tickets early. But, uh, hey, that was good stuff from all of our young people, though. Just just great stuff. And uh, Bill enjoyed that song. And I know it wasn't easy for you to sing today, but we're just going to be believing God to touch Brother Bill Norris. Amen. And just regulate that heartbeat. Set everything in order there. And uh, Brother Bill, my, my heart beats just fine, and I can't make it through a song. So, <laughs> It's because they jerked me off the stage before I can finish singing. But, uh, amen, you made it through just fine. That was, that was wonderful, man, anointed. Thank God for his divine enablement. Praise God, his healing touch. And we believe that God's just going to heal Brother Bill Norris. Praise God. Let's all stand, shall we? Praise God. Amen. Praise God. I just know that many of you were ministered to by those songs today. It's uh, just such powerful powerful message going forth and thank you Brian for just bringing us to a close with just praise and worship unto the Lord he's worthy of our praise isn't he worthy of all of our worship amen it's just great to magnify the Lord together praise the Lord praise God Lord I just thank you Lord for this celebration Lord when the world gets together and Lord they have different people singing and playing it's for competitive reasons and they're being judged and voted upon but Lord here today Lord this wasn't a competition but Lord this was just a celebration of your gifts and your talents Lord that you bestow and I thank you God for each one sharing Lord what you have given to them Lord not for their own glory not Lord for their own benefit but God just for your honor and for your glory and Lord I just thank you Lord for the way that they have Lord taken the the glory and put it back to you Lord and just lifted you up and exalted you and magnified you Lord through what you have bestowed upon them Lord and your grace and Lord your mercy and your goodness God I thank you Lord for musical ability and talent but God I thank you most of all Lord I thank you for the anointing upon the music Lord Lord we thank you when your Holy Spirit comes and just breathes into the music and Lord, we just, we receive it, Lord, and it touches our hearts and it, it challenges us and convicts us and changes our lives. And Lord, we just thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon the word, upon, upon music, Lord, that you use. It's a universal language that you have given us to bring us together, God, and to bring us, 
Lord, into Pentecostal concert as, Lord, we blend our voices together and we lift up our voices unto you, God. You're worthy to be praised, worthy to be adored. And, Lord, in this season of thanks, I just want to thank you. Lord, for this day, I thank you for the souls that were saved in the morning service, for those that came and rededicated their lives to you and said, I've not been living right. I've not been living all out and all in for Jesus. And I want that to change today. I want to recommit. And I want to live every day in the, in the, in the longing and the anticipation of your soon return. Lord, I want to live to please you so that, Lord, when you come, I'll hear those words from you. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. And God, we want to live our lives that way. We want to use our gifts, our abilities, our time, our treasure, our talent to honor you, Lord, so that, Lord, you'll be pleased with our service unto you, Lord. We want to give our all, give our best for you. And I thank you for those, Lord, this afternoon that have given their all, given their best, Lord, and said this is an offering, a sacrifice of praise unto you, O oh God. And Lord, as we leave this place, Lord, we leave God with thoughts of Christmas on our hearts, Lord. We've heard several carols, Lord, played and sung today, Lord, that remind us, Lord, of what this season really is all about. You are the reason for the season, Lord. It's all about you. It's all about your birth. We've made it so many other things, Lord, in our culture today. But Lord, in your house, as your people, in your church, we declare, Lord, that it's all about you. Praise God. Unto you, a Savior is born. And Lord, we're thankful, Lord, for your birth that you came to live. And Lord, to share with us how to live to please God. Lord, you came to be the Savior of the world, the bleeding Lamb of Calvary. And now, Lord, we worship you. Lord, as we celebrate your first coming, we celebrate your birth, we also do so, Lord, in anticipation of your second coming, which, Lord, we believe is so very, very soon. And, Lord, we look for your appearing, Lord, in this Christmas season, even as we think about how you came to earth. Lord, we're thinking about how you're coming back. You're coming again in clouds of glory and may each one of us may our family members our loved ones be ready lord we pray this afternoon for brother bill norris right now god lord he has shared with us lord what is happening in his life the irregular heartbeat and lord the afib that he's dealing with but jesus you created that heart and you're able lord to touch him and heal him and lord set that heart in proper rhythm right now and Lord, I'm asking that you reach forth your tender healing hand and you touch Brother Bill right now and release healing anointing, healing virtue and power to flow into that body, Lord. And I pray, God, for his lungs, Lord, that they'll find nothing wrong there and he'll be able to breathe fully and breathe easily, Lord. And, oh, God, that there will not be difficulty, Lord, with his heartbeat, no more racing of the heart, Lord. I pray, God that you would just heal and mend that heart, we pray. And Lord, we just pray as well, Lord, as we close here this day, Lord, for Christina Morris's friend's niece, Lord, for Nikki. God, we don't know all the ins and outs of that situation. All we know is that a young woman in her late 20s is fighting for her life right now in the hospital with a severe infection in her body that they are trying to fight with antibiotics and Lord there's surgery that needs to take place that can't even take place because of the infection and Lord we just pray that you would drive infection out of that young woman's body Lord under out from under Nikki's body and I pray Jesus right now that you would touch her cleanse her body Lord of all infection and I pray that God you'd raise her up Lord that she would no longer be on this life support but, oh, Jesus, you would just breathe new life into her right now, God. Others, Lord, here today, perhaps, that just need your touch. Oh, God, for Chrissy Winters today, Lord. God, I pray that you touch her right now. Cleanse her lungs, Lord, of this, Lord. Whatever this may be, this upper respiratory infection, just touch her, God, and heal her and restore her, Lord, we pray. And, oh, God, we just thank you that you are, as we've just heard some, you are our healer. You're our precious healer. 
And Lord, I pray that no one here would leave, Lord, this place or Lord, end this day without, Lord, asking you to be Savior and Lord of their lives. If they have not welcomed you personally into their lives, they'll find some place to cry out to you. And Lord, just ask forgiveness for their sins and welcome you in to be Savior and to be, Lord, most importantly, Lord of their lives. And now bless us as we leave and go our separate ways, Lord. I pray that you would take each one safely home. Bring us, Lord, back again at the next appointed time. Oh, God, with praise upon our lips. Oh, God, with love in our heart for you. And, Lord, a desire to magnify your name together. And, Lord, we thank you for everything that has transpired on this day. And, Lord, we give you all the praise. And to God be all the glory for all things. In Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Praise God.